Hi, I'm Bill Hickman. This is me driving Le Mans in the Oscar-winning film, The French Connection. As a professional stunt driver, I must depend on the performance of the car as well as my driving skill. I'm here in Atlanta to compare and evaluate the new 1973 mid-sized Pontiacs with their competition. For those comparisons, we have chosen models that represent the best for the competition. A Plymouth Satellite Custom, a Chevrolet Malibu, and a Ford Grand Torino. We wanted to find the differences and the features that offer value to a Pontiac owner. Let's look at Le Mans and Gran Torino. Both cars have new energy absorbing front bumper systems. However, Le Mans bumper system cushions minor impacts. Le Mans has greater all around visibility too. This is most noticeable from the side and the rear where the large sail panel is almost eliminated. In the rear, Le Mans style and offers even more. The trunk is easy to load and unload, and it has about five inches less leftover height. Inside the larger Le Mans trunk, it's finished just a little nicer, as you can see. The Le Mans doors are trimmed in wood grain vinyl, and this same quality extends to the instrument panel as well. When I drove the two cars, I found even more Le Mans advantages. It has a more powerful standard six-cylinder engine than the Gran Torino. And when equipped with a V8 engine, Le Mans has cold air induction. This system feeds cool air directly to the air cleaner to provide a denser airflow into the engine. The result is better cold start performance, improved economy, increased power, and better drivability. And as you know, it's only available on Pontiac. Of course, Le Mans is a wide track from Pontiac, with unsurpassed riding and handling. Something I'm personally familiar with. The GM cars competing with Le Mans are the Buick Century, the Chevrolet Malibu, and the Olds Cutlass. The Malibu is a good comparison for all three. Le Mans has traditional Pontiac twin grills, a distinctive hood design, soft flowing body sculpture and a smooth sloping rear deck to set it apart from the ordinary. Acceptable styling means higher retained value which makes it a sound investment. Under the hood fiberglass insulation provides additional quietness and strong rigid construction behind the grill adds to its durability. Le Mans inner fender liners are made of steel out of plastic. Inside, Le Mans has the edge and fabrics. They look good and they're long-lasting. The difference is obvious. Le Mans has the Pontiac value at an easy Pontiac price. Compared to the satellite custom, Le Mans has basically the same advantages it has over the Grand Trino and Malibu. There are also standard features like an inside hood release to help to prevent theft upper level ventilation for better circulation of air. The larger standard six cylinder engine is equipped with quiet hydraulic valve lifters and a long lasting aluminized exhaust system. And the list goes on. We also took a close look at the Le Mans Sport Coupe and the Olds Cutlass S. In addition to its price advantage, the Le Mans Sport Coupe has a notch back bench seat usually found only in the higher priced models. And you may choose bucket seats at no extra cost. These distinctive louvered rear quarter windows are not available on the Cutlass S, not at any price. And for the economy minded, the Mons Sport Coupe has a standard six cylinder engine, which is not offered in the Cutlass S, 
even when equipped with the available 350V8. The Pontiac Le Mans Sport Coupe is less expensive than the Cutlass S. And here's a real value story. According to the Automotive Market Report, the depreciation of a 1971 Le Mans during the first year was less than any of the competition. The purchase of a Pontiac is a sound investment. You know, our comparisons do confirm the value of Le Mans. The wide track people do have a way with cars. I hope you agree with me and you'll choose the Pontiac Way in 73.